Okay, today is the 3rd of April 2018. Uh, we're with Pat Dillon here, Chagas Glambia Monitor Farmer. Um, Pat, over the, over the Easter weekend, we got an awful amount of rain. Yeah, we had a lot of rain there, Richie. Um, look, they were out day and night before that. I've, I've plenty of grass. Well, enough, plenty, good bit of grass you did, there. We did a cover there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. 700 an average farm cover 700 for sure the big issue is getting around to it the ground is too wet a lot of the time um they, they went out yesterday just cut up on top cut up a bit on top but they graze it out well i look i'd be very happy it'll it'll come back very well we calculated there that you have about 16 hectares left to graze so it's really if you divide the farm up it's a hectare every day for the next number of days trying to get to around the 20th of april now this stage yeah for the first paddock there was about 600 on the first paddock so we're roughly estimated around 20 days yeah to get around to that yeah look at i have enough uh, grass there if i can once i can get out to it the issue is just every, every day is different like this time of the year you've great drying so like just what i'd say just don't judge it from the yard like we'd an awful lot of rain there this morning and just we went out to the paddock i thought it would be way too wet but you know another couple of hours drying we could have got get, getting out to it so yes exactly so this week the forecast is not great this week pat the probability is that you will be indoors a lot this week what's the diet you've good quality silage yeah it's good, late 70s yeah to cut the middle of may there to top 70s dmd um they're, they're on about seven key seven kilos of meal there when they're in all all day long and say cut it down to around five to when they're out to grass so that's okay. what it is. And I suppose the big addition here on the farm here is the feed space, Pat, which has helped you this spring. You built you built onto the shed here. Sure, it's been a big saviour and like it's I'd say for particularly younger cows, um, you know, everything can get fed at one time, which is a, a big bonus. Okay. C Pat, cows are milking okay, you know, given conditions in and out. Yeah. Trying to get grass in has been a major help and keeping the meal levels up when conditions are bad you you up the meal to allow for that if they're in, in indoors so currently they're making around two kilograms of milk solids yeah look at them happy enough considering the conditions like kind of there was this little over 24 and a half liters there um it's a 3.3 protein 3.3 protein and 4.55 butter fat so butter fat. so they are actually making well so you have five i see you've tail painting we're not going to talk with the breeding today but you have tail painting the cows there red uh, and you have five cows and once a day, you said to me, is that Yeah, right? five cows and just a couple of heifers, a couple of second calvers there, just just lighter ones. Okay. Look at the plan, look at they get their silage, they get their meal, look at it. You take every day as it comes, try and get out to the paddock, the, the your my driest paddocks, whatever is next to be grazed, and just see what it's like. Don't judge it from the yard.